Namaste, welcome, good morning, good morning in my house, uh, good morning on the Hatha Yoga class, the Hatha Yoga class focus on healing the body, there are many ways to heal the body of course, and uh, now we use uh, the, the mind to visualize and the breath and the body to move, so what you need, maybe you need some big books for blocks to support, a blanket to sit on and for the last relaxation to have a blanket to put over you. Make sure the room is nice, comfortable and warm. So let's start with sitting on the sitting bones, maybe on something higher, maybe a cushion or like this step what we used uh, last weekend. Hands on the knees and then close your eyes and draw the eyes all the way in. Take a couple of deep breaths in and out. And then bringing your attention back to the sitting bones. And from the sitting bones, press them really good down under the support under you. You rise all the way up, lengthening the neck. Rolling the shoulder backwards and down. And then having the crown all the way up to the ceiling, the sitting bones to the earth, making a length in the spine. Make sure you also balanced with the left and right side of the body. And don't hang to one rib cage. Make sure you have a line from your pivot bone, navel, chest bone, chin and forehead, that both shoulders are equal down. And really relaxing your breath, bringing your breath deep down in the belly. Really relax. Relaxing your face. And Everything is so. And then bringing your hands together in front of the heart. Before we start to move, we sing three times on. And it's about to grade that vibration in you. The om, aum is the sound also from the sun. And so the sun has also healing power, the light to create this energy in you. So exhale completely and inhale deeply. Oh. Oh. And then just bowing your head down. Bowing the head to the heart. And the heart is really big, big energy, healing power. And so bringing into your heart your intention that you're healthy and strong. Seeing yourself healthy and strong. Feeling healthy and strong from out of the heart. And do that also for somebody else, you know. And then for something bigger, all beings on this planet, be healthy and strong and in balance that the whole earth, humanity, uh, beings, nature, everything is going to be in balance again, harmony. And then slowly bring the head again, just straight. Bring your hands on your knees. Open your eyes and just looking forwards and then start to roll your shoulders. Inhale and then on the exhalation, bring them backwards and down. Inhale forwards up and then exhale backwards and down. 
Let your hands roll over your shoulders to warming up the knees or let the hands be on the knees. Roll the shoulders. Good. Let's take a couple of breaths here to waking up the energy because that's what we do when we are moving and that's also the healing power. So moving. So that's one tool, moving the body, no stagnation, no blockage, move it out of your system. And then the second part is the breath, no stagnation in breath. Breath has to flow through. So breathing through or culminate it now with this movement, inhale up and then exhale backwards and down. And then the third part where I want to focus on in this class is the belly. At the belly, your intestines, very, very important for good health. Of course, there are many other ways, uh, working on kidneys and working more on uh, affination or uh, visualizations. And now just rolling, moving your body, creating uh, this flow uh, removing the blockage, the stagnation. Just roll your shoulders. And then the last one, you're ending backwards and down. Then like last weekend, uh, the neck, turning the neck to left or turning the head to left and right to work. In it. And the neck, especially in the mornings, we have a lot of stagnation. From sleeping, maybe sleep in a different different position with the head on a different cushion or the cushion is moving away and then you're still sleeping but the head is lying in a not nice position and then the next morning you have all this stiffness and stagnation in the head and in the neck and in the shoulder area So neck is very important to have a good circulation to the head and face. So we did it a little bit longer because it's so important. And when we do it, we do it most of the times to less. If you need to break, uh, just stop for a while if you get dizzy. Maybe close your eyes and stay breathing through. Just relaxing in your breath, relaxing in the face. And remember, you need to move away the stagnation, the blockage. We need to create flow in our system. Stay breathing through, into the nose, and out of the nose. Just two more. And the last one to the left and to the and then come back in the middle. And then just moving the head down. Let the head hang down while you're sitting straight. And then make a half circle. And then moving down and then the other circle, half. Most of the times when I say in class, make a half circle, I see people making a, a normal circle. So I don't want that you make a normal circle, just only a half circle. Because when you do the whole circle, most of the times uh, that's painful for the neck and then we create tension and we create stagnation. So to make the whole circle, what I learned from a yoga teacher from India, first you think, no way, you don't can do that. It is actually very nice. So let's do that too. So you Ending in the middle and then 
putting your head again straight up. And what you do, you bring your shoulders all the way to the ear. So place your hands or your knees, lifting up, and then bringing the chin down. Then move to your side, and then you have support from your uh, shoulders, and then moving the head backwards, you need you have support from the muscles on the back, and then you go to the other side, and then down. So now you can make a very nice supported circle with the head. A couple of circles here. Then stay with your shoulders up. That's better for the neck for the press. And now making the circle the other way around. And then ending in the middle. Rolling the shoulders again backwards and down and then we continue with the half circle. So when we do the half circle, you feel maybe then we are more stretching uh, the muscles. And then the last one ending in the middle, putting the head again straight up. So now bringing your fingertips on your shoulders. And now we move with the elbows. Bring the elbows together and then up. And then all the way backwards and down. So inhale forwards up. And then exhale backwards and down. Inhale forwards up. And then exhale backwards and down. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And to work more in the shoulders. Uh, with the muscles and stay sitting straight. We only move in the shoulders here. All the way together up and then backwards and down. All the way together up and backwards and down. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Let's do one more circle, the last one, and then we ending with the elbows on shoulder height. Stay with the shoulders down. Take a deep inhalation. And now on the exhalation, rotate to the right. And then on the inhalation, rotate to the left. So exhale to the right, inhale to the left. Exhale to the right, inhale to the left. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Speeding up. So go to your maximum. And this is really healthy to clean uh, the energy in the lungs, the air in the lungs, but also have feeling uh, probably that your abdominals are working. So we're creating also uh, a flow into the belly and massaging the intestines or mm, like helping to work better, to create a better uh, digestion and fire in that center. So stay breathing. So exhale to the right, inhale to the left. So the breath goes very fast. And then slowly, slowly come back in the middle. Just bring your hands on your knees. Close your eyes and sometimes you feel a little bit dizzy, but just feel the sitting bones grounding down. Breathing deeply in and breathing deeply out. And then body, you feel that the body is Balance again, the breath, the movement. And then when you feel ready, you open your eyes and you start to roll the shoulders again. Forwards up, backwards and down. If you like, you can maybe change your legs or sitting on something higher or coming up, you can change your seat because now we do uh, these twisting movements the other side. So first rolling shoulders, 
then have with the elbows and then again twisting and that twist maybe you felt it it's very good to clean the lungs and to work on the acne the fire the digestion in the belly yeah when we're stagnating in the center in the belly have uh, health is stagnating so really really important there yeah so it's also important what you eat of course but now how we focus on what we can do in a yoga class in a, with our bodies and that's how to move to help her the flow to help that everything can work good that there is no stagnation and then ending with the shoulders backwards and down and bringing her your fingertips on your shoulders and then inhale elbows together all the way up and then exhale backwards and down inhale and exhale 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 let's do three more inhale and exhale inhale and exhale the last one full one and this time you ending with the elbows and shoulder height sitting straight shoulders down Take a deep inhalation. And now on the exhalation, you go to the left. So you turn to the other side on the exhalation. And on the inhalation, to the right. So exhale to the left. Inhale to the right. Exhale, inhale. 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 Go to your maximum speed. And slowly coming back in the middle, putting your hands on your knees, close your eyes, breathing deeply in, and breathing deeply out. Breathing deeply in, and deeply out. Deeply in. Deeply out. Bring the normal breath back. Open your eyes. And just stretching your legs forwards. And just massage a little bit your knees. And something what's also very good for uh, to help this stagnation to uh, bring again flow into your system is massage, of course. Uh, but now we cannot go to the massage, so we need to do it by itself. But I call it always a quick fit. That was a Tai Chi teacher who told me like a quick fit. It's like just tapping. So clapping or tapping on your legs uh, on the outside and on the inside will help uh, this energy flow in the legs. Let's do it also with the arms. Maybe first the back. So lifting up the leg and bring it all the way on the back. Tapping. The other leg. Then left arm. Shoulder, inside, outside. Going to the armpits. 
flank area, rip cage. Going more to the back, like well done. And now I've got both on the, the heart, maybe make a little fist, like Tarzan. And then the other arm. Inside, outside, shoulder. Then the armpit, the chest area, flank. Then again, the heart with both wrists. And then tapping softly on the stomach. Very softly, I, I hope you didn't eat yet. Very softly, belly. And then going to the back and do it on the floating ribs where the kidneys are. And then again on the front. And then tapping with the fingers on the back, the head, the crown, forehead, face, little taps with the fingers on the side of the head. And then the throat, but then just like you massage a little bit throat area and then you feel maybe more energized you feel maybe more flow in the body then bring both legs to a side or cross over to go to all fours maybe you want to remove now your blankets and blocks and stuff so hands on your shoulders knees on your hips turning the elbows in Look at under, see if your feet are in line with your knees and then cat and cow. So inhale, looking up and exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. This is also very good to help the flow in the spine, to remove the stagnation in the spine. So inhale. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Inhale. And then exhale. Now put your toes under. Lift yourself all the way up to a downward facing dog. And so take your time to be in the downward dog. So feel your 10 fingers. Spread your 10 fingers a little bit. And turning the elbows in and roll the shoulders to the mid spine. Bringing your sitting bones all the way up to the ceiling. And of course, in a perfect way, you can stretch your knees. So maybe that's not uh, how it is, but you try. And most of the times the keys, what we say, or the cues to do in asana is more the action than actually it goes like that. So try to stretch the knees and maybe you can do it, maybe not, don't worry. And also the heels, the heels go down or you try to go a bit down. The head is softly, maybe shake your head softly like yes and no. And then focus on the breath. So making your breath a little bit stronger here. What we call the ujjayi sound, the ocean breath. So I'm drinking the air. And then on the exhalation, look to your hands. Walk your feet forwards, and then we 
do a couple of sense sun salutation. So first, just feet on hip distance and let yourself hanging out. Bend your knees if it necessary. And then roll one by one vertebra up. Bend your knees so if the spine or hamstrings are painful. And then ending just standing. And you can have the feet on hip distance. You can have the feet together. Doesn't matter. Good. Important is that you're standing active, that you're standing on your big toe and little toe outside and heel. And that you press the, the ball of the feet, the area from the big toe, very strong in the mat while you're lifting head the sole of the feet. And then uh, lifting also the inner legs, the pelvic floor, navel is in, tailbone is a little bit under, the shoulders are all the way backwards without losing the rib cage. So lower ribs, floating ribs are a little bit in, they are allowed to go a little bit out so you can create space, but not all the way hanging. And so stability in the core center, shoulders are backwards and down. Then take a deep inhalation and syrup your arms all the way up. Maybe a little back bending here even, but no pain in the back, of course. And then exhale, you fly down in your hips. Here you can always bend your knees and then bring your hands down on the mat or on your shin. Then inhale, looking up again, stretch the spine. And then on exhalation, place your hands down. So bend your knees maybe more. Stepping with the right leg backwards. And then bring your knee down. We do it uh, with uh, like step speed in between with the sun salutation. So here we have this beautiful stretch in the front by the hip flexors. And then on the exhalation, you bring your hands back. And you step back to a downward facing dog. And then you come forwards to a plank position. So pressing the heels away, navel in, roll your shoulders to the mid spine. And now you can go all the way down or bringing your knees down. And then bending your elbows and coming down. Squeeze your armpits. Inhale, coming all the way up. And then exhale, toes under, back to downward facing dog. One more breath here. And then on the exhalation, looking forward, stepping with the right foot forwards. There we have this in between step. So bring your knee down and inhale, circle your arm all the way up, bring your tailbone under, shoulder blades back backwards down. And then on the exhalation, circle your hands back. And now step again to the front. Inhale, looking forwards up. And exhale, going down. Bend your knees if you need to. Place your hands maybe on your shin. And then on the next inhalation, coming all the way up. Little back bending here again. And then exhale, bring your arms down. Let's do that again. But now starting with the left leg. Inhale, bring the arms all the way up. Then exhale, flying down. Hands maybe on your shin. Or on the mat, inhale, looking forwards up. And then exhale, stepping with the left leg backwards. And bend your knee, bring your knee down and inhale, sweep your arm all the way up, bring your two bone under, stretch your hip flexor. And then exhale, sweep your hand back and step back to downward facing dog. Now stay in downward dog, maybe you want to skip that to coming forwards. Maybe you like it to come to plank and then knees down or just straight down and then inhale coming forwards and up, upper dog. Roll your shoulders backwards, create a long neck and draw the navel in. Put your toes into the mat and come back to downward dog. Press yourself away, sitting bones in the air. Inhale 
And then on the exhalation, look to your hands and stepping with the left foot forwards, bring your right knee down. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up, tailbone under, creating space in the front of the body. And then exhale, circle your hands back, and then step back, or step forwards to the front, inhale, and then exhale, bending down. Inhale, come with the straight spine all the way up. And exhale, arms down. Let's do it again with the right. So inhale, right arm, or well, arms all the way up. And then exhale, bending down. Inhale, looking forwards up. And then exhale, stepping with the right leg backwards. Inhale, circle your arms all the way up, tailbone under, shoulders down. Then exhale, circle your hands back. And step back to downward facing dog. Or stay here, or coming forwards to plank. With the knees down, chest down. Inhale, coming forwards and up, upper dog. And then exhale back to downward facing dog. One more breath. Looking forwards to your hands. Stepping with the right foot forwards. Left knee down. Inhale, circle your arms all the way up. Tailbone under. Exhale. Bring your hands back. And step to the front. Inhale, looking forwards up. Exhale, down. I will put my socks off. And then it goes a little bit nicer. And then inhale, coming all the way up to standing. Little back bending here. And exhale, down. The same with the left leg. So inhale, arms up. Exhale, flow down. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, step with the left backwards. Inhale, circle your arms all the way up. Exhale, circle your hands back. Step back to downward facing dog. Or stay in downward dog, or coming forwards to plank. Lower down, maybe, with the baby chatter on. Inhale, coming forwards and up, create a long neck. Pull the navel in, coming backwards. Downward facing dog. Inhale, and exhale, inhale, and on the exhalation, look to your hands, stepping with the left forwards, bring your right knee down, inhale, circle your arms all the way up, then exhale, circle your hands back, and this time, stepping back to downward facing dog, so you are in downward dog, then bringing your feet together, and then on the inhalation, bring the right leg all the way up into the sky. Turning your hip a little bit open to twist. Be strong with your hands at 10 fingers, pressing yourself away. And then on the exhalation, level your hip. Swing the leg forwards and step in between your hands. And turn the back heel into the mat. And inhale, circle the arms all the way up to warrior pose one. Then exhale, open your hip toward pose two. Make sure your knee is straight forward. Then inhale, move backwards to a reverse warrior. And then exhale, coming forwards. Place your hands back to the mat. And then step back to downward facing dog. Maybe stay there. Or coming forwards to a plank with the knees and chest down. Inhale, moving forwards and up, upper dog, and then exhale back, downward dog. Inhale, bring your feet together. Exhale, bring the left leg all the way up into the sky. Open your hip a little bit, but be strong with your hands, 10 fingers. Roll the shoulders to the mid spine, inhale. And then on the exhalation, level your hips, swing the leg forward, and step in between your hands. Turn the back heel, the back heel is into the mat. It gives more stability. Then you come all the way up to warrior pose one, tailbone under. Now open your hips and open your shoulders to warrior pose two. Make sure your knee is in a straight line forwards. 
Be strong with the back leg and then lean backwards. What we call reverse warrior. Opening at the rib case, very healthy for lungs. And then exhale, circle your hands back to the floor, to the mat, and step back to downward facing dog. Then stay in downward dog or come forwards again to plank. So baby chaturanga or full chaturanga. Inhale to upper dog and exhale, downward facing dog. So maybe you want to stay in downward dog. Maybe you want to bring the knees down and go all the way down and rest a little bit. And so take what you need. Maybe you like to stay in downward dog. Maybe you want to play a little bit in downward dog. Moving to left and right, bending your knees. And stay breathing. Take your rest or play. So let's do one more circle like that. So when you are in child's pose, come back to downward dog. And then inhale, bring your feet together again. And exhale, bring the right leg all the way up into the sky. Good. Prepare yourself for the swing to go forwards. Inhale. And then on the exhalation, level your hips and swing the leg forwards and step forwards. Turn the back heel into the mat and inhale, circle the arms all the way up. There we have warrior pose one again. Then exhale, going to warrior pose two. Now inhale, coming backwards to this reverse warrior. And then exhale. Now circle your arms, working from the core, and twisting, and let your oblique muscles work, and then going with your elbow on your knee. And let's do that a couple of times to waking up at a fire in the belly. So inhale to reverse warrior. And then exhale, circle the arms and twist. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale, twist. Inhale. And exhale, twist. Inhale. And exhale, twist. Let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale, now twisting all the way. Now you can maybe stay like this or bringing your heel up or bend your back knee. Maybe just bend your back knee to come in a very deep twist. Then bring your hands together and then lift a little bit higher and looking up to the ceiling. Good. Try to bring your tailbone more under, shoulder blades more into the center, opening your chest. Try to lengthening the collarbones. See if you can twist a little bit deeper. Good. And then for people who can go very deep, they can bring the left hand down and bringing the right arm overhead, looking to the palm. And stay breathing. Working from the center. Feel the twist in the belly. Stay breathing. Deeply in and deeply out. And then slowly, slowly, when you had the arms straight, you bring the arms again in namaste. And then inhale, slowly let it go. If you have your knee not yet on the mat, just bring your knee on the mat. And then inhale, bring your arms all the way up. And opening out the belly. And we were squeezing the belly, now give, creating space by the belly. Good. And then on the exhalation, circle your right hand down. Place your right hand on the outside, maybe using a block or a book to lean on. And then open all the way. So we're opening at the belly here. Good. Stay breathing. One more breath. 
And then on the exhalation, you look down. You bring your left hand down. You lift your knee and step back to a downward facing dog. Maybe stay in downward dog or coming forwards to plank. Lower down with your knees and chest down. Inhale, moving forwards and up. Upper dog. And then exhale back to downward facing dog. So one more time from out of downward dog. So you come again with the feet together, inhale. And then on the exhalation, bring the left leg all the way up. Open your hip, creating space by the belly. Be strong with your 10 fingers, hands, shoulders to the mid spine, inhale. And then on the exhalation, level your hips, swing the leg forwards and step forward. Turn the back heel into the mat to give more stability. Inhale, warrior pose one. And exhale, warrior pose two. So turn the hips open, the arms and shoulder height. And knees stay straight forward. Back leg very strong. Inhale. And then exhale. Now we make a twist. Working again from the core center. So exhale, twist. Hug your tailbone or bring your uh, elbow into the knee. Inhale. And exhale, elbow to the knee, tailbone under. Inhale. And exhale, elbow knee. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's do one more time. Inhale. And now exhale, going all the way, turning maybe your back heel off the mat and then bring your knee down. But you can also stay with the leg straight. Then place your hands together in Namaste, rolling your shoulders more to the mid spine, twisting more, maybe help your elbow to go more deeper and then stay there. Be strong, tailbone under. Shoulder blades to the mid spine. And if you want, you can bring your right hand down and bring the left arm over. Stay breathing. Squeezing the center. And working on digestion here. Stay breathing deeply in and out. Hey, breathing. And then slowly bringing your hands again in Namaste. And then inhale, letting go, bring your arms all the way up, creating now space by the belly so that she can flow, blood can flow. Tailbone under, shoulder blades to the mid spine. Bringing your knee down. Hey, Suki, my cat is wanting to have attention. So reaching all the way up. Hey, so your left hand is down, right arm is up, right knee is into the mat. So it's maybe a little bit strange, but the opening had a belly area. One more breath. And then exhale, bring your right hand also down. And then you can lift the back leg and step back to downward dog. And then look forwards and walk the feet forwards. Feet on hip distance. Bend a little bit the knees and then inhale, bring your arms backwards. Interlace your fingers here. Stretch your elbows, stretch your knees, and coming down. Just maybe wiggle a little bit with your head, with the arms. Stay breathing. You can always bend the knees when it's too much.
And softly bending your knees, let go of your hands. And inhale, come in, Ardha Utkatasana. So your arms are forward, spine is straight, knees are bent. And then turning your toes a little bit out so you can bend deeper into your hips and then bringing your arms all the way up like a squatting position. And then bring the palms together and bring the hands down. And then opening your chest in yogi squat. If that's not possible, stay with the hands on the mat and bring the weight more forward so that the heels are not touching. Or bring a book under your heels. Just sitting all the way down with your hips. Some people can almost touch the floor. Some people are far away from the floor. Hey, Suki, what is sir? Let me see. Let me see. And the next one, you can stay in a yogi squat. If that's not possible, if that's even pain for the knees or hip, then just sit on your sitting bone and stepping your foot forward. So the next what you do is you bring your left shoulder elbow more down and then stretch your arm to your side. Maybe I have to show it like this. So your arm to your side. So your arm is still in the front of your knee and then bringing your right arm all the way up into the sky. So this is when you're in yogi squat. And it's like when you're sitting, you bring your arm maybe under and then bring it up. And so see what's comfortable in your body. And then you have another choice. You can turn the arms and bringing the arms all the way backwards and then you can grab your fingers maybe and turning more up. If that's not possible, just stay with the arms straight. And when you're sitting, you can bring your arm maybe all the way to the lower spine too and bringing your head all the way backwards and opening your chest there also. One more breath. And then exhale where you are. You slowly let go. You come again with the hands in front of the heart and you'll be squat. Or I just sitting. Sinking deeper down in the hips. And then we do the other side. So you bring your right arm to your side. And the right arm is still in front of your knee and then Bring your left arm all the way up and looking up. Uh, when you're sitting, then it's looking like this. Eh? Or your hand maybe on the front. Or maybe you can go with your hand under. And then all the way up. And then uh, you can decide to stay here. Or you turn the thumbs backwards. You bend your elbows and you're reaching backwards. And you... Catch your fingers and looking up. When you are sitting, it looks like this. You go under, you reach to the lower spine, catching your hands and then open up. And then exhale, letting go, bring your hands again in front of the heart. And then where you are, uh, maybe sitting still in yogi sweat, you come sit and bringing the feet together. When you are sitting here, then bringing also the feet together in Baddha Konasana. So bring your heels very close. And then with your thumbs, you put it on the ball of the foot, you open the foot, and then inhale, you're opening your chest, and then you come forwards. 
Lengthening, bring the chest more forward. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. And then inhale, coming all the way up. And then exhale, make little circles with your uh, chest. We did that last weekend too. And it's very nice to open your hips. It's also nice that to working on the belly. So really also go to the back. See that the belly have to work. So big circles here. And make the circles the other way around. Deep breathing through. And then ending in the middle. Let's do one more time. So open the foot like a book. Inhale, opening your chest. And then with straight spine coming forward. Press your heels strongly into the mat. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And then on the next inhalation, you come in. And then on the exhalation, lean a bit backwards and bring your knees together. And then you lean with the straight spine backwards, opening your chest, and then see if you can lift the feet of the mat and stretching your legs in both toes. Just stay in both toes. Stay breathing, opening your chest. Stretching and see if you can make your boat a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Stay breathing, opening your chest. And now with your piece and finger, catching your big toes. And then see if you can balance and stretching your legs all the way wide. So you're balancing shoulders to the mid spine, navel in. See if you can balance here. And then from here, see if you can close your legs and stay balancing. Lifting the head more up, looking backwards. And then lengthening the neck. Exhale, looking forwards again. And then see if you can let go of your toes again and being in the boat posture. A little bit more. A little bit bigger boat, bigger boat, bigger boat. Stay here. Ten more counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now go all the way lying down. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale. Draw the navel all the way in and now lifting the right leg. And again with the piece and finger, catch your big toe. Inhale. Now on the exhalation, draw the navel in and go with your nose to your shin. As shoulders relaxing, stay here. Five deep breaths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Two, three, four, and five. And then inhale, put the head down again. And on the exhalation, move your leg all the way to your side, looking over your left shoulder. Also five breaths here. One, two, three, four, and five. Then inhale, bring the leg again up. And on the exhalation, draw the navel again in. Bring your nose to your knee, shin area again. Five breaths. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, with your left hand, catching the outside or your shin, letting go of your right and bring your right arm to your side and then twist slowly, slowly over to your left. If it's not possible with your leg straight, then bend your knee in holding your knee. And just stay in the twist here. One, two, three, Four, and five. Then draw the navel in, coming back. Now hold again with your right leg, the inside, and then exhale one more time, all the way up. One, two, three, four, and five. Then inhale, put the head down. Exhale, let go of your leg. And then just bend your knee, place your feet down. And then just bending your left knee. And then stretch your right leg. And then bring your left leg all the way up. With your left piece and finger, catch the big toe. Bringing the right hand on your hip flexor. Inhale, and on the exhalation, draw the navel in and coming all the way up with your nose to your knee. Again, five deep breaths. One, two, three, four, and five. Then inhale, put the head down. And then on the exhalation, lower your left leg to the left, looking over your right shoulder. One. Stay active with the right leg. Two. Three. Four. And five. And then inhale, bring the leg again up. Exhale, draw the navel in again, nose to shin. One, two, three, four, and five. And inhale, put the head down with your right hand going on the outside of your left foot or shin or knee. And then let it go of your left and bring your left arm by your side. And then twist slowly, slowly over to your right. And bend your knee if you need to, looking over your shoulder. So here again, five breaths. One, two, three. Four and five. Then exhale, draw the navel in slowly coming back. Now with your left hand on the out inside, and uh, you place your hand and then draw the navel in and coming all the way up as deep uh, to your leg, leg to your nose, nose to your leg. One, 
two, three, four, and five. Then inhale, put the head down. Exhale, let go of your foot. Bend your knee. And then place your foot down. Stretch your legs. Stretch yourself all the way. Making one side longer and then the other side longer. Stretch one side and the other side. Good. And then bringing your arms just next to you. Bend your knees again. Place your feet on hip distance. Knees are straight up to the ceiling. Have feet is strong, big toe into the mat, little toe outside and heel. Take a deep inhalation. On the exhalation, you draw the navel in, so you activate the bandhas. Then press the heels into the mat, then you lift all the way up. With your hips, inhale. And then on the exhalation, you go down. Let's do that a couple of times. So you're coming up, tailbone under, inhale. And exhale, rolling down. One by one vertebra. Inhale when you're down. Exhale, scoop your tailbone under. Inhale, rise up. And then exhale, go down. Inhale when you're down. Exhale, activate the bandhas. And then the inhalation coming up. Exhale, going down. Then inhale, coming up, and now stay. Inhalate your fingers under and roll your shoulders under. Stretch your elbows so you can come to your highest point and stay there. Five deep breaths. One, two, three, four. And five, slowly let go of your hands and roll down. Take a couple of breaths here. So we do it two more times. If you can do the full Urvandandurasana uh, with your hands, like the full bow pose, then go ahead. Otherwise, you do two more from this. So I will show one time how this full Dandurasana. So you bring your hands to the back. With the fingers watching to your heels, the elbows watching up. Don't make the hands too small because then it's very, uh, very hard. And then from there on the inhalation, you activate again the bandhas and you lift yourself up all the way. And otherwise, uh, you do the other one. So you come all the way up. Catch your hands, roll your shoulders under, stretch your elbows, and stay there. So see what you like. Five deep breaths. One, two, three, four, and five. Slowly, slowly coming down. So we do it one more time. Now prepare yourself, decide which one you want, especially when you're home alone, don't do crazy stuff, just do what you are familiar with, and no new stuff, just, and also listening to the body, so take a deep breath in, and then exhale, activate the banda, scoop your tailbone under, Coming all the way up. Uh, inhalate your fingers, roll your shoulders under. Stay here or bringing your hands to the back and coming all the way up. One, two, three, four, and five. Slowly, slowly coming down. And when you're down, bring your knees to your chest and then make little circles. Just circling around. Just 
circles of the other way around. And ending in the middle, stretching your legs up into the sky. Reaching to your maybe knees and pull the legs closer in. Maybe you can go to your calf muscles or Achilles tendon and then press your legs closer and closer so that the lower spine is coming off the mat. Maybe give yourself like a hug, like embrace yourself. And then hey, you feel probably a stretch on the back. You feel a stretch in the lower spine, mid-spine maybe. And just eight more breaths here. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, bringing the legs more over and bringing your hands in the spine. Roll your shoulders under, press uh, your elbows into the mat, and then stretching your legs all the way straight up to the ceiling. If this is too painful, if this is not possible, you just stay down on your spine and stay with the legs up, just like this. If that's too much, you can also do maybe happy baby to catching your heels or ankles and bringing your knees out as a, or up vista or uh, the legs all the way up or you go all the way to shoulder stance or rangasana. Stay breathing. Make sure all the weight is on your shoulders and elbows. Now slowly lower your legs, flex your feet, pressing the heels away, and then if your feet are down on the floor supported, then you can stretch your arms, interlace your fingers. If not, if the legs are still in the air, you stay with your hands in the spine. Stay breathing through. Now bend your knees. Your knees maybe by your ears or on the forehead. And then slowly, you roll down. So you let go of your hands. You roll down one by one vertebra. 
Don't do that too quick. Bending your knees. And then bring the legs in Baddha Konasana, Sukta Baddha Konasana, uh, with the knees out. And then lift your head, roll your shoulders under, bringing your hands under the buttons. And then squeeze your shoulder blades to lift up your chest, lengthening the neck. And then under your ears, you're hinting the head backwards. So use again uh, the muscles of your shoulders to support the head, like this circle where we were starting with. Stay breathing, opening the throat. It's very healthy for your thyroid, schild clear. Stay breathing. And press your elbows strongly into the mat. Squeeze the muscles in between your shoulder blades. And then lengthen the neck and looking forwards again. And then slowly, slowly move your elbows to the side so you can lie down. You bring the knees together. And then bringing your left leg over your right leg. And then twisting to the right, so twisting roots, a very deep twist, and stretching your left arm wide open, and the right hand can support under the left knee, looking over your left shoulder. Just relax, maybe close your eyes here. So twist, it's very healthy to do. It's balance and your spine and your energy. It's removing the blockage in the spine, removing the stagnation in the spine. And then on the next exhalation, slowly coming back. Turn back to your spine and then change your legs. So now the right goes over left. And then move your hips maybe a little bit over to your right so you can twist easier to the left. Stretch your right arm wide open. Uh, your left hand you can place where you like or supporting uh, your right knee looking over your shoulder so you're twisting in the whole spine twisting very deep just relaxing closing your eyes and bring your attention back where we start with had to bow to the heart and that we feel 
and see ourselves healthy and strong. So feel that again, seeing and feeling yourself healthy and strong. And then see that other person again, healthy and strong. And while seeing the whole planet with all beings, human beings, living in harmony, balance, growth, strong and healthy. slowly, slowly turning back, Bring your hips again in the middle of the mat, and stretch your legs, oh, <laughs> you're so cat. and then we do a massage in the belly to stimulating uh, the flow and the healing power of the belly, I will maybe show it when I you can look. So here's my navel, and then I bring my thumb just under the navel, and then I press it, and I use my other hand to press really deep. And then clockwise, you go around the navel. You press in, you let go. You press in, you let go. And sometimes it's painful, but that's the place where there's stagnation. So that's very good. And then it's like a spiral, you go bigger and bigger, right? So and this is like how we go. And then how you start over. And let's do three rounds. So really take your time lying down. I go also lying down again. And then if you have cold, just bring your blanket over you. And then have with your thumb around the navel like a spiral. Pressing deeply in, letting go. Pressing in, letting go. Pressing in, letting go. And take your time. Pressing in, letting go. This will help this flow in your intestines. Healthy intestines is a healthy body and mind and heart too. Your belly is your second brain, a place where a lot of uh, neurotransmitters is um, processing. Also for how you feel, 
very important to remove toxins, to operating flow. Also, when you have a lot of headaches, when you do this every day, every morning, the headaches will go away. Stimulating your immune system to sometimes you feel like your bladder is full, <laughs> you have to go to the toilet, then go. And then you start over again. So you start again in the middle, clockwise, around the navel, spiral. So really good in, letting go. Pressing in, letting go. And maybe you feel the hard parts. Maybe you feel gliding your intestines away from it. Sometimes you can feel even your vertebras, your spine. When it's very hard and sticky, in the middle, then it's a, probably your spine. So that's good. And most of the times it's like the stool, hard parts in the intestines. Sometimes sticky there forever. You cannot move. We need to help a little bit. All these toxins staying there and stagnating. And then have we getting headaches or we have a weak immune system. Sometimes the thumb is getting painful, then just uh, do it with the other. Sometimes also like your index finger and middle finger. It's nice to do. <laughs> 